Hi there. Today, I'm going to show you two fun water science experiments that you can do at home. My name is Jenny Schneider, and I'm an AmeriCorps NJ Watershed Ambassador serving WMA5 with Hackensack Riverkeeper. Although I'm a Watershed Ambassador, I am first and foremost an AmeriCorps member. AmeriCorps is a network of national service programs where adults like myself engage in public service work with the goal of helping others and meeting critical needs in communities across the United States. The AmeriCorps NJ Watershed Ambassador Program is administered by the Corporation for National Community Service and the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. We serve to improve New Jersey's waterways by promoting watershed stewardship through education, direct community involvement, and monitoring stream health. So now that you know more about our program, let's get to our experiments. First up, we have the classic rain cloud in a jar experiment. I suggest using the following supplies, which includes a large clear jar, a small cup, non-gel shaving cream, preferably white, so it looks like a real cloud, a pipette or dropper, and gel food coloring. I chose blue. With some water in your small cup, mix a few drops of food coloring. You don't need much, just enough to eventually fill your small pipette or dropper a few times. The brighter you want your color, the more drops you should put. And like you see that I'm doing, you can just mix around with your dropper or pipette. Next, fill your jar until it's almost full, but still leaving a little room for your shaving cream. Once you're ready to start your experiment, spray shaving cream on the top of the water, similar to how you might put whipped cream on top of an ice cream sundae. The shaving cream represents your cloud and the clear water underneath represents the air. Your final step is to make it rain. So we're gonna take our colored water from our small cup, fill it with whatever color you chose, and squirt some drops into the shaving cream, so directly into it. The most important part is to observe your cloud raining. You can repeat however many you wanna see it rain. So basically how this happens is, as the colored water saturates the cloud, it gets heavier and heavier until eventually it is so heavy that it can no longer hold all of the water. So it begins to rain down into the jar through the air, just like it does during a real rainstorm. I encourage you to take pictures of your awesome creations and to share them with us at our Facebook page, which is AmeriCorps NJ Watershed Ambassador Program. Our next experiment is just a little more complicated. It's about groundwater pollution. According to the Groundwater Foundation, Groundwater is the water found underground in the cracks and spaces in soil, sand, and rock. It is stored in and moves slowly through geologic formations of soil, sand, and rocks called aquifers. Groundwater pollution occurs when pollutants get into aquifers and causes it to become unsafe and unfit for human use. We'll see an example of this in our experiment. For this experiment, I recommend using a two liter water bottle, a paper filter, I used a coffee filter, soil from your yard, it's a little hard to see, but I have some soil from my yard in this cup, more gel food coloring, this time I chose green, and water and scissors. We're gonna put our paper filter in the top of our bottle, and then we're gonna take our soil and put the soil inside of the paper filter, similar to how you would put coffee grinds inside of the filter. So here we have our soil inside of our paper filter. Step one, we're going to add our food coloring to the top of our soil, whichever color you chose. This color represents every possible harmful substance that could contaminate or pollute our groundwater. For example, this green color could represent oil or chemicals. So now that we have our pollutant example, let's see what happens when it rains. 
If this were a situation in real life, some might drain off the land into a storm drain and directly into a water body. But some of it, as we'll see right now, will permeate or soak into the ground. So it's a little hard for you to see there at home, but clearly, oops, clearly um, the tinted water on the bottom represents the toxins or bad stuff that seep through the ground or soil and into the aquifer, which is represented by this bottom area below the bottle cap. And of course, I took my bottle cap off in the beginning before I even put on my soil or filter. That's an important thing I forgot to mention. We wouldn't want to drink this, right? Neither would other animals or plants. Once again, I encourage you to share pictures of your experiment with our Facebook page. And although this was really fun, water pollution is very serious. But the good thing is, is that it's preventable. Learn how you can do your part and join us watershed ambassadors in making New Jersey's water cleaner by visiting cleanwaternj.org. Thank you.